From Fox 35 Mission Control, got a live view right now. The Space Coast as we're getting ready for the first launch of the year. SpaceX is going to be launching more satellites at midnight on Sunday. Well, last year, as you know, was a record breaker for launches and 2026 shaping up to be historic as well. You see, this year, astronauts going to fly back to the moon for the first time in decades, all not going to land on it. They're going to go around it. Yeah, Artemis 2 could launch as early as February. Fox 35's Esther Bauer has a look at what's in store for 2026. Two, one, ignition, and lift off. Get ready to see even more of these soaring into 2026. The launch cadence has increased tremendously. That increase broke records in 2025 with more than 100 launches in a single year. This year could be even busier as more companies bring their business to Brevard County. The launch cadence is great for the Space Coast, brings in tours, brings in companies. Um, to work here permanently. Space expert Ken Kramer says by far the biggest story of 2026 will be the Artemis II flight. We will have American astronauts and a Canadian go to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. The man leading the mission will also be new. Jared Isaacman was just appointed as NASA's next admin late in 2025. His goals aren't just to go back to the moon, but to stay there. He recently posted this on X, saying his number one priority is American leadership in the high ground of space by making a return to the moon and establishing an enduring presence. Build out a, a moon base at the South Pole. That's where the water is. So you can mine that ice and you can get rocket fuel from the hydrogen and the oxygen and breathable air and drinkable water, hopefully. Kramer is not as optimistic about NASA's success doing all of this because of budget cuts. Isaacman has to convince Trump to, stay, to change course, support full funding for NASA and NASA science. Otherwise, China will will move ahead of us. He says more money is needed now because the U.S. is in a space race. On the ground, a race to build out infrastructure also underway on the coast. At the Cape, at, at the Kennedy Space Center, and especially at the Space Force Station, because there's just not enough room for all of these rockets. The world's biggest rocket will eventually launch from Florida and construction of the Starship launch pad will continue in 2026. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News. Also got some